Hello and welcome to the Yogscast. Uh Today we're talking about Brink. Um, interesting game. Came out ages ago. I'm just going to play you through a mission actually and um, we can talk about it. Simon, do you want to go into like what, what the deal is with Brink and what happened and stuff? The deal with Brink is that it was a disastrous release that they completely ballsed up. Um, and also it doesn't run on a lot of ATI cards. So this is a problem that I had. Yeah. Uh, we wanted to buy it on Steam originally, Brink, but it yeah. was taken off of Steam in the UK. Mysteriously. But we managed to f- we managed to find it in a shop, uh, and it was only thirteen pounds for the special edition, despite the fact that it was a full price game on release. So we bought our little cheap copies. We got home. We installed it. We downloaded it on Steam because that's what you do anyway, because it's a Steamworks game. Yeah, and I loaded it up, and I I couldn't play it because my graphics card isn't supported by it, and I literally get single digit FPS on it. It's it's like watching a slideshow. It's very confusing. This game is a lot like TF2, okay, and mm. in a kind of weird way, but you also like level up through playing it. So I'm be- I've been doing the campaign. And I've actually recorded this video because it's the first campaign map that I've played where there's actually been another player. I couldn't believe it. Someone else. Oh my god. Because every single map on the campaign you play, you play online on people's servers, right? But Mm -hmm. none of them had anyone on them. No one else is playing. It was like a a wasteland. (laughs) Now this is the first one. So anyway, these are all the weapons. Look, they're all just bloody the same. They're all just a load of M16s or whatever. They all look... And they all... They all look very they all feel the same. A, you can get a few pistols. I got owned by a couple of people with oh, pistols. Oh, it's a Doom thing. And you can no, also be the special edition like different classes. Thing, you can be... Um, sorry, I'm just choosing my objective. You can be like an engineer, right? You can be a, a medic. medic. Or a spy. spy. You can or be a soldier. soldier. That's, they're the four classes, okay? <laughs> but yeah. they all play almost identically, okay? You, you have just the same weapons... Right, and you have sort of one small right. ability, depending on what you are, and also you can do slightly different things. So, mm. if you're a soldier, sorry, that's my ally there. I thought, I thought that's weird. Why are there those those oh. enemies there? They surely must be on my team, those red guys. But no, they were the bad guys. They shot me in the face. The red name guys, yeah, yeah they would be the the enemy. So uh, someone sent me a med pack, which I'm using to revive myself. Oh, um, revive! But then I just got instantly shot again. Anyway. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> Jeez, you died so quickly. I guess you were sort of in the open with um, with like three guys there. But holy shit! Yeah. So this is like TF2, except without the funness of the classes. <laughs> All the classes are very lame, <laughs> and with an extremely it's like TF2, but without the fun. There you go. That's quote. For the box there. And uh, with a very laborious unlock system, which takes you far too long to unlock any of the good stuff for each of the classes. So, with this right. engineer that I have, I've spent all of my points unlo- unlocking like the, the basic level 1 sentry gun. But it is so pathetic, yeah. right, compared to the TF2 one, that it's barely even worth putting down. And there's like five other types of sentry gun, and they're pretty much all better than the light one. But they're all still right. terrible. Um, you don't seem to be very good at the game. Well, um, I'm not, really. I, I don't know whether I'm just using the wrong weapon, but I don't know. They all just look exactly the same, relatively. The um, thing is, I'm against bots, so I don't know why I'm so terrible, since bots are normally just oh. like... Just it's ridiculously easy. Um, anywho, let's have a look. So this keep is, lobbing grenades. This is the first objective. Okay, so some those. of the objectives are like stuff in TF2, like push the cart or stuff like this. Anyway, I'm putting the turret down here. Yeah. There's an enemy oh. turret right in front of me. Okay, right there. Yeah. But it didn't bother attacking me. destroy your turret. And then uh, my my turret oh, right. like shot it a bit. So my turret's there, <laughs> doing bugger all. And these are the bots here, just <laughs> getting owned. Yeah, uh, this is a, yeah. So oh dear, um, he's reviving that guy. He threw. Do you see? He threw a revive thing at that guy. Now that guy's up. Um, and now so he's even though you were shooting at him, guy. it didn't interrupt. 
It doesn't interrupt the reviving. No, because the revive is like a little thrown thing, and it, you, they lob it. Um, okay. So that guy's turret's still what alive. What was that guy doing? I think. Oh, oh dear. These are all bots. Sites. Okay, apart from this one guy on my team called Xperia Star Six Babazina eighteen plus. He's the only human in the game. He's okay. on my side. It's a good username. I'll give him that. Yeah. So, um, you could tell they're humans because they have like a ping number next to their name on the on the score sheet. Oh, um, gotcha. Oh, so that's my turret there. I don't so know how turret. to repair it, but You're repairing it. I, no, I realised okay. I was getting shot, so I defended it. That thing there is a soldier has put a bomb on that door, so I have to defend that. Yeah. Um. Someone else joined. Look, Daz Tech. So there's two humans now. Um, Hi, Daz. In the game. Cause it's really so you're holding your ground and defending this. I mean, the oh. thing is, when this game came out, we were like, Bethesda, the publisher, we love Bethesda. We're like, we'll just buy anything they make. And we just couldn't buy it on mm. Steam. And then we saw it for like, no. bargain basement bin in like, the local game shop. And we it were was like, oh. 13 pounds. 13 pounds. And now it's actually back on Steam. It only came back on Steam like this week. Um, but it's like full price, like 40 quid or something. So... If what? you want to buy it, go and search the basement bargain basement. I don't know what a terrible mess. How was it messed up so bad? I don't understand. I don't. I don't understand. The thing about this whole thing is this game isn't bad. Okay, it's just yeah. Like they've made they've made little mistakes. God. They should have made the classes more unique, <laughs> like TF2. Whereas in fact, just all the classes <laughs> are the same, except some of them have very minimal non-game changing ability. Oh! Oh, I really hate watching you play. I've been playing a little bit of like FPSs and stuff. A bit of Borderlands and I just everyone's going to be furious. Yeah. It's it's like I've got an itch under my skin watching you play. Oh. What are you complaining about? What's so wrong with how I play? Huh? I oh, know you're doing well then. This is good. It's like just camping, basically. <laughs> it's when you sort of move around slowly, then you look through the scope, and then you sort of try and find where the enemy is, and then you just shoot them in the leg. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, was that a healing sort of thing then that someone threw out? Uh, well, no. Each class. I mean, you get more abilities as you level up, but I've sunk about like seven hours or something in this game, which is is nothing compared to the amount of time I played TF2. To be fair, but I've unlocked next mm. to nothing, um, and it really is kind of quite disappointing. Uh, but basically, the different classes. Oh, got flashbang there. Oh, um, the engineer can oh. like buff other people's weapons. The soldier can refill up people's ammo and the medic can buff people's health very slightly as well as uh, res them. I'm now sort of trying to take okay. cover behind this um, small ledge. It's more sensible. Yeah, but I... We're sort of trying to push forward to this point, you see, and trying to claim it, but they, you know, this is their spawn, so we're mm. obviously having to make our way quite slowly over. Um, I think I actually have the gas can, so I need to actually pour the fluid. So my team have to defend me here while I'm pouring the fluid. Oh, okay. Um, but I got knocked over. Oh! But that's okay, because I only got knocked down by a grenade. I didn't actually get killed by it. Um, oh. But you have to start over again. So there we are. Ah! So there you go, that's an objective. Look at those bots over there. What a disaster. Um, oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> so anyway, that's... Um, that's Brink, pretty much. Um... Brink. Wow. Um, it looks better than I thought it would, but I don't understand the whole... People keep going on about the, the parkour aspect of it, of just running around and leaping off walls and running along ceilings and jumping around like a loon. Well, you can actually change your um, body type from between so from between light medium and heavy 
okay? But you have to do that out of the right. game. You can't do that in the game. Like, you can't switch to being a heavy yeah, or a scout in the game, like in PS2. You have to actually go out to the main menu oh. and change your character to a light body type or a heavy body type. Now, if okay. you're a heavy body type, you can so wield... you have to be light? Yeah, if you're a light you body type... You have to be light to, to jump around. You run around, but you're very fragile. And the idea of a light is a bit like a scout. You know, you're claiming points, you're doing the side objectives, like, you know, going and claiming bonus things or building machine gun nests, Ooh. stuff like that. Um... Whereas the heavy body type Ooh. is a lot slower, slightly tougher, more, you know, you can use like miniguns and stuff. Um, What's that weird crawl thing you're doing? It's kind of just like when, you, when you're when you sprinting Ooh. and you duck, you do that. <laughs> oh, right. Um, Interesting. So this is another oh, snappers. objective, we're like trying to claim this... Um, it all just becomes, it seems to become a bit of a bottleneck every time. You're next to where everyone's spawning and everyone's in exactly the same place. And they're just shooting each other without any cover. Well, that's what it's like. It's like TF2, really. Um, mm. We're trying to get objectives and they're throwing themselves at us to try and stop us getting the objective. Um, they all seem to be coming from the same place, though. They're always coming from up there. Well, I think that might just be because they're bots and they're really stupid. Ah. Um, okay. <laughs> I mean, I did actually join a few multiplayer oh. servers. Now there you. weren't that many. There were, a f <laughs> I mean, compared to TF2 or something, there were a few multiplayer there we servers. Go. Um, with like you know, f full fifteen people battles, but it was actually awful for me because I went in there. And as like you know, relatively low level, effectively, mm -hmm. and I was up against people yeah. who just like built you know a, a max level turret or something, and just like owned the people who me. were still playing after like a month or so were obviously the hardcore fans. <laughs> <laughs> I did get absolutely no one else destroyed. was still playing, um, and it wasn't fun. Oh. Like I mean, TF2, you can just log in and just have a blast, you know. And you can kind of feel like you're contributing as like any kind of class quite easily, whereas yeah. this doesn't have any of the fun aspect, I guess. I wish that I could uh, play it on my quite well, very good computer. They'll probably patch it. They might have patched it already. But I seem to be penalised mm. because I don't have an Nvidia. Well, they did have a patch yesterday. I did notice there was a patch for it yesterday, but there was absolutely no mention. It's a graphics card bug thing. Of, um, well, there you go. Of ATI Great. cards. Nothing. Thanks for watching, everyone. So, yeah, thanks. At least I only wasted 13 quid instead of, like, 35 quid. You know, that's something, anyway.